After weeks of continued campaigning, today is runoff election day in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Voters head to the polls to replace Mayor Lori Lightfoot, who lost her re-election bid. Crime, of course, as you can imagine, is a central issue, and there are two Democrats who are neck and neck in this race. Brandon Johnson, the more progressive candidate, once supported a push to defund the police. Paul Vallis, a moderate former school official, says he would fight crime by actually hiring more police officers. CBS News Chicago reporter Jassy, Jackie Kostick joins us now from a polling location with a whole lot more. Jackie, it's great to see you. So um, give us a lay of the land with these candidates. What are their main policies and what are the issues that have been driving the race? Vlad and Anne Marie, good morning to you. We are on, we are in the Austin neighborhood on the west side of Chicago right now. This is where Brandon Johnson lives and where he just cast his ballot. We are expecting Paul Vallis to cast his vote uh, a little bit later this morning in the Bridgeport neighborhood, which is just southwest of the main downtown part of Chicago. And then from there, these candidates are really going to be uh, spending their election days quite differently. Paul Vallis is expected to just have lunch at a deli and then head to his election party later on today and Brandon Johnson is expected to crisscross the city making more than 10 different stops including a stop at a CTA station and several voting sites as well. Now both spent their last full day of the campaign talking to voters. Paul Vallis and Senator Dick Durbin caught up with some riders outside of a CTA station in the loop while Brandon Johnson rallied in the 12th ward with Latino voters. Now a recent poll had Vallis leading Johnson by five points, including with Latino voters. Voter turnout here will be key. So far, more than 107,000 vote by mail ballots have been returned and more than 184,000 people have voted early. So then when do polls close and when might we start to see some results? Well, polls are expected to close at 7 o'clock tonight. And if you are standing in line at 7 o'clock, you can still cast your vote. Um, and we know that both candidates, of course, will be having big election day parties as well. Um, but we, you know, we're, we're not really sure when we're going to know the results of this election. They'll be pouring in throughout the evening, but it could take several days to, uh, to count those ballots. Uh, Jackie Kostek, it's always a long day when it's election day coverage. It really so, is. you know, we stay hydrated you. Yes. or whatever the advice is. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs>